Hello everybody, this is Major Garner. And Penguin Chris. And this is Daylight, uh, part... Seven? Is seven, perhaps? Uh, we haven't been keeping track. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I had to redo a bit of a section, but it looks like we uh, found some things we were over uh, Apparently they stole some collectibles, but um, I might just play it on a time with a guide to figure out what they all are. So Yeah. Uh, the main goal right now is just to collect what we can and go through the story. Yep. Uh, we read some pretty interesting notes, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Continue. Glow sticks. No, I got all the glow sticks I need. It's downloading. Oh, yeah, I guess the loading is just loading the area. Yep. Of the prison. Nice so nice to meet you. you. See you too, uh, uh, disembodied boy, boys, yeah. woman. Disembodied receptionist of the prison. Oh yeah, that that's a creepy looking house. Yep. Well, look at paper. This is obviously new. Okay. Doctor Mercer, the maintenance staff has finished the modifications to our office, <coughs> your office, that you asked for. Also, for your request, I've met made sure to only let certain staff work in on small parts of the larger project. Your new desk should be fully functional now. Judy. Huh? Okay. Apparently they were doing some stuff. Yep. Ooh, another paper. <laughs> you put a foot in there. Yep. <laughs> Gotta keep my foot in box. Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in the in temperament. Temperament. Yeah. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus, causing fever and Lovely. incoherent chanting. Uh, ranting. Okay. Well, if he was chanting, I would say a cultist. It's but... ranting. He is currently receiving treatment by the nurses. Uh, we evaluate his his condition after the study has been completed. So it looks like it's a uh, psy psychology place, or asylum, and a prison. Oh yep. my, the plot thickens. Yeah. Huh. I gotta Step leave my on print on, on that painting. Yep. Or, or picture, or whatever you want to call whatever. it. I guess... That's to the one we go to? Wait. Oh, now it's saving. Now we got a save point. Right after we find the a note on the boiler. Patient 9F. Admitted with burns on over 60% of body. Skin graft underway. Patient is refusing treatment and talks constantly about visions. But we're proceeding anyway. Sometimes it's not about what the patient wants but about doing whatever it takes to make them better. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. That's nice. Okay. So, so that's uh, the way we came yeah, in. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything new here. Might as well, right? Yep. We'll go six. This way. Okay. Oh, that Dang. bloody door thing. God, this even looks creepier than the regular asylum. Yep. No, 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 toilet. Yeah, if I can get, get it. Patient 13, such an obnoxious mem number. Okay. Patient oh, actually, hospital. ominous number. Ominous, yeah, ominous, not obnoxious. Yeah, whatever. Patient records indicate that the num this number is typically attributed to particularly troubled patients. Yay. Yay. Current one case is no exception, given the nature of her birth. Hmm. Isn't it the same? Is this the same chick from the mental ward? I'm. I'm thinking. The, the ten year old. I'm wondering. Ten month old, I'm not year month. Well, yeah. it looks like she's been there for a long time. So, yeah, so maybe. 
So she's probably older than that now. Probably. I foresee many institutions, bad decisions, and more in our future. Sometimes I find myself wondering if some person's inner people's inner hmm. turmoil, turmoil is beyond any human help. Interesting. Maybe she needs a nice, wonderful trip to Silent Hill. I guess so. Well, that's a dead end. The texture in this game is really well done. Yeah. Is that the door he came in? I think it is. Um, hang on. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's the door we came through. Yeah, that's the door we came through. Which I don't think we can open it. Like nope. th there is no going back now. Yeah. Yes, I made it so point to a Honda Mansion, people. Yep. So you have to do a second to play through to get everything. Yep. Yeah, to get whatever I missed. Right. I figured. Phone. Uh, hopefully that thing will never ring. It's hoping it. Forever. Yep. There's the door. No, no, that's the one I went into. It's the one on the right. Do we need to go in, I think? Uh... Oh, never mind. That one. Yeah. I didn't notice that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not creepy. Totally not creepy. A glowing green lamp. Judy, it recently come to my attention that much of the staff, my, yourself included, has been getting a bit too comfortable spreading rumors. Rumors? We'll okay. get to that point. We'll get to that later, I guess. I don't need to remind you how well you and the others have fit here compared to the disease-ridden mainland. Do I? Do you? Yes, you, we, we've we. had, yeah, we've had a wealth of issues with the inmates and some of our more colorful patients, colorful, <laughs> yes, I, we've had to turn to drastic measures to deal with them occasionally, but I need everyone here behind me. If we are going to keep this place running, I'm doing everything I can. M. M. <laughs> yeah, I guess he just wrote his first first. I guess it's Mercer. Initial of his name. So it's Mercer, or we're talking to a to James well, Bond. He, he just called himself M, like in uh the Bram Stoker Dracula movie. Dracula referred to himself as D. Yep. What? Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if you were like the maid dusting up the place and you yep. activately bumped the lamp? Do, 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 like, do, do, oh, do, snap. Do, this man is clearly Batman. Yep. Hey, look, certificate. Yep. He graduated something. <laughs> yeah, he has a PhD or whatever, so. Yep. I would assume. I'm so fortunate for What? What? Fortunate for what? Don't know. Oh, thanks for answering the question. What? what? Oh, ghost. Oh, we got dark. Oh, God, that is creepy sounding. Yep. Sounds like a giant beast ready to devour me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so... Oh, wow, saving. Yep. Home away from home, huh? Hang on, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, oh okay. okay, so that was the intermission area. So, yeah, we, we got all the collectibles of okay, cool. the hospital. Cool. Yay. Okay. And That's nice. Kind of curious how many is in the... Oh, the last collectible is in the prison. Okay, yep. so after the prison is... The sewer. Sewers. And oh, God, that's going to be lovely. The forest. And then the forest. Okay, yeah, that was yep. four parts. Yeah. 
This is this is almost like Dead Island in reverse. Uh, in, instead of getting the island resort or, or uh, the tropical island vacationing spot, then we go through the city, then the sewer, then the prison. We're going yep. to the prison to the sewer. Okay, let's open the door. Apparently. Thing. Glow stick. Yay. Yay. Oh god, I barely see anything. What? Whoa. Oh, snap. Crazy. Okay. Bless me. Yep. Ugh. It Whatever. means sneezing somehow brought up voice command. Yep. <laughs> Lovely. Incident Instant report. report. October 25th, 1910. Captain Alex Sr. Prisoner 203 was found dead in his cell tonight. He was found twisted up like a rat's nest. Mm. I don't know how he got that way or how he killed himself. All I know is I heard an ear spring scream from this from solidarity. And I ran down to see what was going on. And Baxter was already in the corner, puking his guts out. Bert looked white. As a sheet. They hadn't said anything about it yet. <clears throat> What's going on here, Alec? In the past month, we've had three prisoners die on our watch. The, pr the officers are getting spooked out, and I'm starting to think something is really going on around here. Lieutenant pa Paul Ackerman. Hmm. Interesting. Ackerman. Well, if if in the uh, Frank Miller Batman uh, Dark Knight novel, if Joker can snap his own neck, then what's the supper prisoner to twist his body into a brat's nest, right? Right. This way. Oh god, it's so That's freaky. Yeah. Okay. What? 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 This is disaster. Apparently. Where? Where are you? Um. Okay. So it looks like if I'm looking at the map, it looks like I can be attacked. Oh god. Yeah, it's. That's just guess... bloody wonderful. Pick up the thing. Glow stick. Yay. Yay. Actually, that's kind of interesting about going uh, checking out the cell prison. I actually went on a ghost tour in St. Augustine. Um, okay. That had an old prison that was part of the tour. Cool. And I actually had something on. I had a, a supernatural experience I couldn't quite explain. And I even tried to think rationally, and I could not find any explanation for it. Yeah. It was, it was, it was creepy and interesting at the same time. Yep. Buttons. Yeah. Oh, look, a note. On the toilet, again. Incident report. October 22nd, 1910. L Lieutenant Paul Ackerman. Guess is, is either a reply or something else. Paul, there's something strange going on with Prisoner 203. Last night, Bert and I heard him shrieking. It almost didn't sound like him. It, the shrieking died off when the, we reached his cell, but he was still screaming. It was like the two sounds were separate. I don't know how he's doing it, but it's giving me the... Wills? Withers? I don't know. That seems really hard to read. He... He... Oh, I think it said Willies. Willies. Yeah, yeah, that was it, Willies. Screams whenever the light um, start flickering. The man ain't right, Paul, and the other prisoners are pleading for me to send him back upstairs. I don't know what the hell to do with this guy. Officer Baxter Kelsley. 
Awesome. Well, that bait we just ran out of time, so this is Major Goner and Penguin Chris. We will catch you.